This is one of a series of videos from People's Trust for Endangered Species on how to undertake a box check for the National Dormouse Monitoring Programme. It's good to get everyone together at the start of the check to ensure health and safety is covered and everyone knows what they are doing. Boxes can be quite difficult to find in a woodland but here is a monitor approaching one quietly. She checks behind to make sure there are no dormice on the ledges before putting her bung securely in the hole at the back of the box. She then raises or slides the lid to see if there is any nesting material in it. Be very careful replacing the lid if any animals are seen. Bright bungs can be easy to see in the wood if you accidentally leave yours behind. If any material is seen in the box it should be taken off the tree and placed in a large plastic bag. The bung and box lid can be taken out of the bag to give more working space and at this stage it's also worth rolling up your sleeves. The green leaves indicate that this is a dormouse nest but it needs to be checked to see if anyone's at home. Use your finger to feel down the corners of the box then feel inside the nest. Make sure you retain the integrity of the nest. Something in this one. If no animals are in the box clear it of any damp or smelly material before putting the box back on the tree. On any dormouse box check make sure you stay quiet. Take only one bung into the woods and make sure you bring it out again. Open box lids carefully. Put any dormouse box containing a nest in a large bag. Check the corners of the box, then inside the nest, making sure you don't damage the nest. And remove any damp or smelly material.